Welcome to BizJet TV, my name is Fabrizio Pauli. Today's subject is light jets or turboprops. If you're looking at buying your first aircraft, you need something for short distances. The dilemma a lot of people have is, do I buy a jet or do I buy a turboprop? And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. In today's episode of BizJet TV, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's all about private aviation. Uh, please subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up and comment below. We'd love to hear your suggestions and recommendations for the future. But enough from me in this intro, let's go straight into analyzing the difference between the light jet and the turboprop to help you with your airplane purchase decision. Off we go. So the dilemma. Do I buy a turboprop or do I buy a jet? This is a question a lot of you are having right now, in particular those of you that have never had an aeroplane before and you know looked at the lockdown situation, looking at the airlines now resuming travel. But the problem with a lot of airline travel now is they're scrapping a lot of routes and they are also cutting down on the frequency of routes. So you may not be able to fly to the destination you were flying with before, uh, to before with the airlines. So the need of an aeroplane now is there for you. But the question is, do I buy a jet or do I buy a turboprop? Now, usually if you're looking at traveling inside 500 nautical miles from your headquarters, uh, a turboprop can work over 500 nautical miles. I always recommend buying a jet. But inside the 500 miles, there are times when a jet is better than a turboprop. Now, a lot of this will depend on, you know, the cabin size you're looking for, the, the speed you're looking at you know, traveling at, and of course the runways. Now, what a lot of people don't know is there are a lot of runways out there which are unpaved, which is grass strips, gravel strips, and that, where the turboprops can land. Uh, there are jets, however, with you know kits on them, like some Lear jets have special kits, uh, and also you can put a bike kit for a citation to land on, on grass. Um, but there's also the Pilatus PC-24, which has just been built, uh, which is out there now, which has not only uh, the ability to land on uh, an unpaved runway as a jet, it flies at you know jet speeds, 400 plus knots. It also has a nice cargo door at the back. If you haven't checked the video about the PC-24, I encourage you to check that one out. It's a very interesting one for you to look at. Now out there on the turboprop market, you've got the TVM 940, uh, which is uh, very popular. The King Air, very popular as well, which is uh, two engines. And then you've got the Pilatus PC-12 single engine, which is very popular. Um, these aircraft have quite large cabins, uh, which is nice. There are smaller turboprops as well out there, which have smaller cabins. Again, it depends how many people are traveling on each trip um, and how soon you need to get in and out. On the jet front, um, the light jets, you've got the Cirrus jet, which is fairly new. You've got Embraer built the Phenom 100 and 300, uh, different ranges on those two. Uh, but very uh, very good aeroplanes. You've got the Honda Jet, which is becoming popular too. And also you've got Cessna with their CJ123 and 4. Um, and uh, they are also interesting aircraft to look at. So which one should you buy? Uh, really depends on a number of factors. I mean, with the turboprops, obviously you're spending less on maintenance and you're also spending less on fuel. Uh, but if you do need speed, and, and that is key, uh, then I'd certainly recommend a jet. Uh, but, you know, above all... It, here on BizJet TV, I can really only give you general information. Um, we need to get specific, and I do recommend you get specific. In particular, if this is your first airplane purchase, uh, you need to sort of get your head around how this whole thing works and talk to a professional to be able to guide you. Um, and the professional will be asking you, I hope at least, um, at least that's what I do, is ask a lot of questions about your business and your expectations, uh, where your business is going, where you see your business going in the next two to three years, to be able to sort of evaluate uh, what the best fit is for you. Is it turboprop, is it jet? And then once turboprop jet decision has been made, which turboprop or which jet is going to suit you? Um, and also, there's also the option of, you know, leasing an aeroplane for 12 months. It gets you into, into aeroplane usage. Um, it gives you an aeroplane exclusive uh, for you. Uh, or even before getting into that, maybe chartering a few times a turboprop, chartering a jet and seeing what fuel you get. Because also it's the feeling that you get when you're on the aeroplane. Uh, some people are a bit nervous about flying on a propeller airplane. Uh, some people don't like the noise that the propeller airplanes make. They prefer a jet. Um, and, you know, when you look at the difference in costing, um, you may say, well, you know, for the sake of spending an extra $100,000 a year, uh, I much prefer a, a jet than, than a turboprop. 
but you know that's very subjective uh, it really depends so i encourage you to uh, comment below let's get conversation going about the turbo pop the jet if any of you have had faced this decision uh what kind of process did you go uh, through and i'd be interested to hear what decision you made and why i think that's an interesting conversation to get going here below this video and if you haven't subscribed to budget tv I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up and uh, that's it from Fabrizio Poli on Bishop TV and I'll see you on the next one.